Hello and welcome to Retrospect Television. I'm here today to talk about a little piece of pop culture that I think we all hold dear in our hearts and that wonderful little place was called Blockbuster. For those who may not have had the pleasure to experience the popular rental store, Blockbuster was a video rental chain that started in the 80s and went on to become absolutely huge in the 90s and early 2000s. You could go into one of the Blockbuster stores and find an absolute treasure trove of movies, video games, and TV shows just waiting to be rented and taken home to watch on your VCR or later on your DVD player. They would always have the most copies of new release movies and video games and if you didn't have a VCR or game console, you could rent one of those as well. The VCRs and game consoles came in a one-of-a-kind Blockbuster briefcase. But Blockbuster wasn't just a place to rent movies, it was a cultural phenomenon. It was the go-to spot to hit before a night in with friends, a date with your significant other, or even just a solo movie marathon. There was just something special about browsing the aisles of Blockbuster, trying to decide on the perfect film for the evening. The way the Blockbuster system worked was much like a library, except you paid for each movie or game that you wanted to take home. Once you rent the movie, you would have that night and two other nights before you had to have the cassettes returned. If the cassette tape wasn't returned within those three days, the customer would begin to accumulate late fees per day. These late fees would tend to stack up, and everyone who rented seemed to always get hit with a late fee at some point. Blockbuster even said at one point that late fees made Blockbuster over $800 million in revenue and accounted for almost 20% of their revenue. Though, as we all know, times change, and technology moves on. With the advent of streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime, Blockbuster just couldn't keep up. After almost partnering with Netflix, and then going on to eventually make its own streaming service to compete with Netflix, the company filed for bankruptcy in 2010. While there was one single store hanging on, they were a far cry from the behemoth that once dominated the home entertainment industry, but in December of 2022, it closed down and that called the end of the Blockbuster franchise as we know it. Though Blockbuster may be gone, it will never be forgotten. Its impact on pop culture is undeniable, and it will always hold a special place in the hearts of movie lovers everywhere that experienced it. So here's to you Blockbuster, so long, and thanks for all the memories. Thank you for hanging with us here on Retrospect TV and tell us in the comments some of the memories you have about Blockbuster.